there is so much going on with this Inspire. Um, they have really put a lot of technology into it. Uh, I will take every opportunity I can to say that I don't agree with the way that they put this out or the, um, the shenanigans that they were pulling in the delivery and the follow-up of all the uh, the minor issues that they're having with uh, with the inspires but there's been a great deal of or a great lack of transparency with uh, with DJI the guys that make this but I'm really enjoying it as far as you know what they put out it seems to be working okay so far I was just outside flying in uh, just snowed and it's a little misty little um, drizzly so just a quick flight but there is so much going on here with this new this new controller that and hopefully this will show up because I know I got a lot of glare on another one this is the camera camera view and I just panned the camera up but you can switch to map view and if you zoom in here the app actually records your uh, your flight route if you want it you can always erase it gives you a GPS uh, well it gives you obviously the Google map that we're used to seeing on ground station but you can see just here in the corner if you want to switch back to camera view all you have to do is touch it and I mean so many so many features that are going on here you have auto take off um, you can lock the camera to stay with the aircraft uh, you have an infinite number of settings that you can go through if I do a more comprehensive video later I may go through all of it because it takes a lot of a uh, lot of reading to, to get through this so a video might make it easier for for others uh, the cool thing is it does have a tutorial you can turn that on and it'll tell you what all the buttons are and and uh, give you kind of a little walkthrough of everything uh, incredible camera settings I mean you can con control so much of what's going on with your camera at just with a touch and Right now, this is in beginner mode, which limits the distance and uh, kind of tones it down a little bit. So if you're new to flying in general or new to the Inspire, it kind of keeps you a little bit safer than just you know turning it on and sending it off, um, as I'm sure many of us did with the, uh, the Phantom and similar uh, <laughs> less complex drones. Well, this is, this is pretty complex, and uh, the beginner mode is, is good. It keeps you, I think it gives you a 60 foot radius and a 60 foot height, something to that effect. So I have it on beginner mode right now because I am so concerned about flyaways or, or any issues. Um, I have a tendency to, to like push things to the limit. I like to go high, I like to go far. Uh, you know, to send this thing a couple miles away would be nice uh, because it is capable. They're, they're saying, uh, I believe it's, it's not two miles, I think they're saying the, the range on this is about two kilometers for video feed and, uh, and control. And I'd like to do that. That would be kind of cool. But uh, once I'm a little bit more confident that this is uh, the propellers aren't going to fly off, or it knows uh, how to get back home, you know, because I had a flyaway not too long ago with a Phantom, and I really don't want to go through that again. And my uh, pet tracker, I don't have on this thing yet because it hasn't shown up. Um, I ordered it, but as with it seems as with most things these days, uh, they're late in getting it to me. But very, very cool. This thing can actually fly inside as well, uh, which I'm sure anyone who's familiar with the Inspire will know. But it has a sonar little and an, a sight system on the bottom. Those little cameras give it kind of a spatial awareness it knows where it is or it knows if it's moving or not so it will control the hover and uh, 
so you can fly it inside without GPS. I haven't done that yet because I'm not that adventurous right now. Well, I'm adventurous, but I really don't feel like uh, you know cleaning pictures up off the floor after they get knocked off the wall. If this thing does um, decide to go nuts, I mean, I have a, a pretty small house to begin with, low ceilings, so I think it's designed more for obviously larger spaces. But uh, I don't think I try try to fly it in my house. I've uh, too much to damage in here. So in a nutshell, that is it. Uh, I may not even post this this video because I'm kind of just rambling. I really didn't have uh, any set list of things to say, but just very impressed so far with the, the technology that's going into this. It's worked for me. I haven't had an opportunity to really kick this, at, this thing's ass yet um, to put it through its paces because I just got it yesterday and it snowed last night and this morning and right now it's raining. So I'd like to, to send this up uh, for many more hours and put it through its paces but right now this is all I have so